79, 78. Basically, you can take him any time you're ready to take him. All right. He's at dead on 75 for me right now. Like I say, there you go. Excellent. Drop him on the spot. Drop him on the spot, dude. It means that, that you did exactly what, if by aiming between his eyes, basically what you did when you threw a stroke. Stop calling. Yep. Let him settle on in. And we've got one, two, three coming in to your right. And the other three settled over over on the other side of things. So I'm going to get the flag down and yes. stand. So go ahead and come on up. little bit left there you go stand up okay and they're just a short distance out I'll step up and get your range for you they are dead on 24 yards oh damn it right over his head yep and they were too out too far before I could get my firearm up but we've still got the ones over here in the center of these guys, so let me get your, get your range again. All right. The closest one is 32 yards. I see him. And then there's one to his right and one to his left. He is, yep, dead on 32 yards. I wish they'd stand still. Yeah, they're, they're patrolling. They're a little nervous because the other ones flew. So they're they're still floating 35 yards. The one that's holding still printing himself is at dead on 36. All right, that's what I was gonna ask. Here comes the rain. I better get a sh yeah. Better get my shot. Yeah. Nice shot. That may be the only one I get. Now, now, well, the middle one is at 40. female she's gonna she's gonna wave fairly nice oh nice <laughs> perfect and the one, yep and then the one that was in front of hers is at 40 you know she just settled in to nap because the other ones it's funny because when you shoot them the other ones they they lay down it almost seems like it prompts the living ones to nap um you guys still recording? You were just over her back? Yeah, over she's kind of low. She's kind of low. Um, honestly, I don't know if he's recording or not. Yeah, I'm recording. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. That's <laughs> yeah, all right. We'll just, we'll just claim you were a Yeti. There, you got her. Got her. <laughs> yep, and suddenly a wild geyser appeared. <laughs> <laughs> Dun, 
Beautiful. I believe that was, that was all of them. I was going to say. Six of them came down in the tree over there and took off, so you whacked those three. I thought we were done with the rain. <laughs> I think I better start taking some shots. I think you better. That's 5.6. Yeah. Uh, female. Let's see. Get this one over here. Wait a minute. This is a little one. Yep. 48.54. And then we just had a, a group of them that are passing right overhead. Uh, of but course. So high up, I think, with the rain that they that they wouldn't have heard heard the calling anyway. I'm flapping the flag at him just just for shits and giggles, but <laughs> yeah, you want to get your last one collected there and at fifty-eight seventy-four and not too shabby. But looks like we might get another break in the rain. I'll just get a quick picture on that one. Uh... Yeah, those the goosey the geesey here there they were passing far away so you don't have to be in any kind of rush on That's there. Something. something is that a pheasant out there? I just saw something moving across. Oh nope, there there she is right there. Hundred and six yards out. Drop a hit of scent here. She just passed, yeah, she just passed behind the one bale there. Yeah. Yeah, she's not she's not very big at all. You gonna get her, or are you just gonna let her? Well, she'd have to come within sixty yards for me to shoot with the bow, and then I'd have to track her for a week and a half. So if you want to take her with your thirty odd six, feel free. She's at uh, about about ninety yards, just shy of ninety yards. So you'd certainly have a good shot. You wanna you wanna aim at her shoulder, take the take the pocket shot, but actually aim it at her shoulder and remember that because of how high their back is, you wanna aim basically at the level of her lower jaw. Okay. There you go. You hit her good. Let's see how far she goes. But uh like Not yep, far. she went down. Yeah, they they've got that big mass of, of muscle on their back and real tall, uh, you know, the spine activity there, you know, their vertebrae are real tall, and because of that, it's deceptive, and if you shoot aiming like you would, you know, the pocket shot normally, you'll actually end up getting a body shot instead of hitting heart and lungs. Mm. And so, oh, hold up, hold up. What? Uh, we've got another one out at 149 yards, uh, but basically, if you just uh, turn and look at me, I am now facing directly at it, and I'll mark it with my hunter mate, and it's coming in because of the scent that I dropped. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get the the squeal call up and spot for you, and you can get another one if you want. All right, <laughs> God. Did you, did you hear it or see it? I uh, saw her. Mm. Yeah, she's behind the bales right now, so I can't I can't see where she is. But I marked her on the hunter mate. Okay, let me get them. If you if you see my dot, basically that's the general neighborhood that she's in. Okay, okay she just she just exited the field. She uh, went up and exited the field, but actually this must be that the remnants of that previous herd. Holy crap! There she is. Yeah, there's three of them out there. Oh wow! So there's that big female right there that I just marked. She's at 72 yards. Just like you did before. Uh, I see her. 
Yeah, at the level, basically a pocket shot at the level of her lower jaw, right into the shoulder. Hey, she's running. Yeah, she's, she's trying. Because she's moving towards the other boar, basically. All right, she's come to a standstill. I don't know if you can see her or not. Beautiful shot, dropped her on the spot. And boy, when you take advice, I, <laughs> I'm just, I love the way you listen, man. <laughs> Thank you. It's like, I tell you, I tell you how to how to get her done, and you take it straight to heart and apply it immediately. You know how hard it is to drop a wild boar in its tracks? No, I didn't. No idea. <laughs> you you got to shoot them where I told you to shoot them, and you shoot them any higher than that, any lower than that, they run and run and run. Yep, the other one's uh, scockered when you made that shot. But yeah, that's a loud bang. So <laughs> yep. there's geese coming in. God bless it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, every time we leave leave the blind, that's when they're gonna show. But yeah, you know, let's go check out this old girl right here. He dropped her in her tracks. That was a beautiful shot, man. And the other one's right in front of her. Yep. Yeah, beautiful shot. A one thirteen. Yeah, I didn't figure she'd be a real big. Where does it say you hit her? Right long heart. Yep, that's that's exactly the way she should have gone down. Like I say, it's the the front shoulder, and right at right at the level of the lower jaw, and generally you'll hit the heart and one lung. She didn't even have a chance to run. Yep. And this one, you'll find that you punched it through uh, through the lungs and probably didn't hit the heart. Once you, <laughs> it looks like you're dancing with her over there. <laughs> Spring break. <laughs> you asked me how I knew that the pig was true. You know, yeah. <laughs> and I'm just keeping an eye out for these other guys. That's why I moved over here. Just in case they turn around and come back. You're gonna like this shot. I'm staring right at her. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're having a discussion. <laughs> I say this one. I think I think you'll find that that this one you hit her you hit her through both lungs and uh, that that you, you didn't didn't hit the heart. Well, uh, I'm gonna go hit the hay. I'll see you guys. Oh, good soon. night. All right. You have a good one, Ralph. Mm-hmm. You too. Parts. User disconnected from your panel. 191? She's a little bigger. Yep. So where'd you hit her? Uh, shoot. I, wasn't, I think it was the lungs, but I wasn't paying complete yeah. attention. That's if it. he gives us a hollering response anytime soon, then then he'll come to us. If we don't hear him in a few moments, then we'll have to go to him. But why don't you take out your? Uh, why don't you go for this guy? Because you've only got you still only have one kill. <laughs> well, you know that I get an absolute kick out of watching you be a crossbow beast. So yeah, well that's definitely what I'm going to use on this. I wish there was a way to get more. Old, so I've only got seven, so I'm gonna have to be. Did you bring your entire supply with you? Oh yeah, I've been through them okay. all. Yeah. Yep. I only have thirty, though. That's the problem. Uh, those geese are landing, aren't they? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a guns. <laughs> Yeah, I'm too far away for the bird shot. Yeah. That's too bad. You spooked that him pretty probably, good. Yeah, that probably also spooked that red deer, of course. Too bad they don't have good shotgun silencers, huh? Yeah, you know, there is such a thing as shotgun silencers. No, I didn't know that. I thought that was only for handguns. Nope, you gotta use specialized rounds with them and stuff, but... I'll give him one more holler, but I got a feeling with me having discharged a shotgun that he's probably wandered off. I mean, if you want to walk over in that direction, we, we certainly can. Hello, big boy. Yeah, it 
the little big boy. How far out are you? He is Where's seventy-one he? yards. Oh, I see him. Yeah, he's he's the fine one. He's pretty. Yep. See, all of a sudden you're regretting telling me I should take a shot, aren't you? Nah. I need to spot him anyway. So, and I got that. No, I want you to get a shot at him. He's pretty. You'll prob yeah, you'll probably want to go prone. I'm, remember, I'm in the autumn camouflage, so... Okay. If I can get him to come in just a little more. Yeah, I can't see him anymore. Well, I mean, feel feel free to come up if you want. Basically, I've got to got to get him in inside the 60 yards, which is where he is now. So, I should be able to take the shot. I kind of like to get the. Yeah, go, go ahead and, and come up if you if you want to get it on video, man. Yeah, I want to see you get him. Cause I'm about to shoot. He doesn't seem to be spooked or anything. He's just kind of nope. sniffing around. All right, are you are you up and yep, all the good stuff. All right, whenever you're ready. He's at fifty-seven yards, fifty-six. Yep. Ooh, you got him! You got him! Yeah, I hit him. I didn't hit him the way I wanted to. He's he was right at that distance where my the light on on my pins kept shifting up and down, and that always throws me off so horribly, but. I'm gonna get a spot in when I last seen him. Okay, yep, he's zigging, he zigged and zagged. So. Yep, and he slow slowed to a walk. Now he just cleared uh, 215 yards, so he is out of sight. I marked a dot, so can you see it? Yep. Yeah. In fact, we dropped our dots literally in the exact same spot. <laughs> is that what's flashing? Yeah. <laughs> Might as well run, because it's not like I'm going to be hurt over the rain. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. With the, with the rain, we can we can jog it pretty hard. Um, I just want to get over to that side of the road and, and pick up the spot where I hit him. And see what, what kind of shot I got on him here. I was just sitting there thinking, I wonder if a car is going to run me down. <laughs> yeah. Which, mean, which means I hit him in one lung instead of taking both lungs. Oh, he'll go down then. Yeah. Yeah, he'll just, he's going to go a ways. But I figured I was probably only going to manage to take one lung. Because I would, he, it was, I was right at that angle. If he'd have been turned a little more in either direction, I'd have taken him through both lungs. But he is bleeding like crazy. He so, won't last long. There's a chance that what I did is I hit him a little high. Um, if you get a lot of heart and lung blood, but they go a really long way, it's because you actually hit them right at the juncture of their neck and their shoulder. Well, I'm getting my tracking skills up here. Yeah, I was going to say, make, make sure and hit all these tracks because we don't get as good an opportunity to, to track red deer as, as we do other critters, you know? Yep. Alright, here we go. Yeah, see now he's, uh, hmm. And back up, make sure this is the correct track here. Okay, that's what I thought. I was actually picking up a different track. It claims he turned and went that way, but I don't buy it. I'm going to check up the hill here. Because remember, he was zigzagging. Yeah. I don't know though. I'm not catching another track up here. Do you want me to take a look down here? Yeah, if you want to, if you want to take a glance. Because while there's plenty of various tracks up here, I'm not catching another dome. I found it. Yep. Over All here. Right. Normally they don't make that, that severe a direction change, so that's... And it's blood, yeah. too, so I know that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, usually they don't switch Ooh. up like that. Good eye. There it is. There he is. You found him? 
Yeah, there he is. Okay. Oh, he's on the road. Yep. Seems like I've seen them all always always seem like they drop on the road. This <laughs> or the trails or Yep, see I hit him I hit him uh just a little close to the neck and that's that's why we got the heart and lung blood but but he ran so far so it'll it'll give me uh, one, one well guys time. that is the finale of our hunt I think we had a great time I know I did are you going to continue on after I leave um, you know I may I may go back and, and either uh, um take a whack at, at some of those geese or I, I may go back and actually uh, shoot some more mallards I don't know I, it, I, I don't feel like I'm done hunting I just can't decide whether I'm going to continue with this or go try some more hunter primal I'm a little aggroed with the changes they've made to the game but yeah I'm not going to give up on it that's for sure it's time, time. well anyway I think it's we definitely had I had a heck of a good time I think it was a lot of fun and yeah, I believe, I believe you finished out with a, a dozen a dozen kills on this map, and uh, I know I know you whacked at least seven mallards. Yeah. So I mean, you you really got yourself a, a, a bundle of them tonight. Well, I'm pleased with that. That's for sure. Maybe I got my score up a little bit, but anyway, guys, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe both my channel and Delacroix's channel at Squatchcraft. And we will continue doing this and check out his uh, Hunter Primal. <laughs> great, great series. Um, what's, what was the last one you did? It was your tenth T Rex. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm up to I'm up to thirteen or fourteen T Rexes now. But they've made some big changes in the game as of the last update, and so um, they they've changed it enough that I've got a feeling it's going to be a bit before we see me knocking down a T Rex again. Wow. Uh. They make it tougher or well, more, more they, AI or they, they removed all the undergrowth, which is of course my method was was ambush, and so without the undergrowth, it's kind of hard to hide an ambush. Mm. And uh, I mean, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get started because uh, I very briefly I had a rant video up about just how unhappy I was, and uh, I I probably shouldn't revisit that subject right now. <laughs> all right, no problem. But anyway to say that there's that there's a number of people that are pretty unhappy with the recent changes well maybe they'll fix it so I, oh, you I'm know. Sure hoping so. anyway guys we will see you later and as always take it easy and as always I'll take her anyway I can get it and remember if you're gonna be a Barbie a grizzly and I got your back just like you always, as you say, you got mine. <laughs> I got your back too, buddy. Take I it had a blast. Me too. Bye bye.